What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, we are on 7.5 months and we have made some sort of a, a progress. However, the progress is very slow now that the hair has developed up to a certain period where now the, the development is just gonna stay at very moderate rather than peaking upwards. As you can see, I've got my hair, it's quite fully dense right at the top. On the side, you can see that the donor area is looking um, pretty okay. It's not the best, but it's looking okay uh, from this angle. But when you look at it from this side, you can see there is a great difference. And this is where I've always complained, where they've digged a little bit more deeper than this side. And at the back, I don't know if you can see any difference, but um, you can see at the back, that is where mainly the majority of the hair was taken and it was implanted at the top. So for those who are new in this channel, I've had 5,500 grafts in Turkey and I'll leave a link in the description um, and I've paid around $2,500 and obviously and um, that was around beginning of the year. So for those who are going now or in the future, so the prices will go up and the clinic that I went, it's called Ashley Turkin. So this video is not sponsored by them by all means. Everything I'm saying is all my honest thoughts and uptakes. So the clinic has been really fantastic in terms of the beginning process. But once I've had my hair transplant, I was never able to liaise with the clinic ever again. And that is because um, I've done all of my treatment in Turkey and then I've traveled back to my home country, which is United Kingdom. So there was no need for me to talk to them if I had any issues. All I had to do is just see any consultants here in the United Kingdom. So these are the things that you need to factor if you have any problems after your surgery, then you need to start thinking, okay, what do you need to do in order for you to start healing process? So as always, I've always encouraged everyone to take their vitamins. Um, if you're taking any menestride or finasteride, then you need to continue and maintain that in order for you to develop a lot better. If you are at early stage, check out my older videos. And if you're considering in going and having a hair transplant, I would urge you to watch my video number one, which I went a lot more detail and what to expect on day number one. And that video was in my home language, but I've left a subtitle for you to follow along. That video was the funniest video I've ever done in my entire YouTube series. So for those who are new here, I would urge you to subscribe for more videos like this. So that way we can give you more up-to-date progress on week on week off. Once again, so this is a top view. And as you can see, the, the hair is starting to grow. This is some sort of a fringe is starting to grow. These are the temple areas that I've always complained. Again, they were very weak. Um, the side, as I already showed you earlier, so it's looking okay. And on this side, it's a little bit more um, faded. So you can see there's a great difference from my normal natural hair. At the back, you'll see a lot of difference. And that's about it. So you just made it to the end of today's video. If you find it useful, do hit the like button and also subscribe for more videos like this. Um, like I said, watch this video if you're new here and you've not had a hair transplant. So these are the things that you could expect before having your hair transplant. Till next time, stay legend.